what's up, it's Brick Channel here with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a comparison between two Nerf blasters that are pretty much alike, but are different in their own ways. And you might be wondering which one you want to buy. And the first one is the N-Strike Elite Retaliator. Now this gun came out in 2012 in the first wave of N-Strike Elite Blasters, along with the Rampage and the Hailfire. Now this is pretty much an upgraded recon, so it looks a lot like the recon. And the blaster includes the normal blaster, as you can see here. It comes with a repainted recon barrel, which is just like this, and it has a built-in iron sight at the top, and a foregrip. Now, obviously, the barrel does not do what a normal, on a normal firearms barrel does, which is increase the range and accuracy. In fact, it decreases both of them, and so, it, so it's actually worse, but it does make it look cooler. And the foregrip is pretty nice, and so is the stock. I'm not going to take it off, but it's still pretty nice. Along with that, you do receive a 12 dart stick mag, and it comes with 12 elite darts. I just shot one. So that's pretty nice. And this one retails at the moment for 25 US dollars. And there's only about a couple tactical rails on this one. And there's a sling mount right here, and this does have the new clip lock system, where you can only release the clip if you prime back and use the clip, clip release. Not like most semi-automatic blasters or some spring-loaded blasters where you can just take it out, as you can see it's locked. Next, we have the Recon MK2. This guy came out not too long ago, a few months ago. And what the kit includes is the Recon MK2 itself, which has a barrel point and a stock point. There's a rail on the side, unlike the Retaliator, and includes a six dart stick mag, but I only have four or five darts in with the new white module starts. And then it also comes with this little barrel extension with also a built-in iron sight, and the stock that I personally do not like. Now let's look at the few differences between the two. As for the Recon, this one only retails for $18, whereas the Retaliator retails for $25 at the moment. When it came out, it was $40, so that's a big retailing difference. I'm pretty sure, we're gonna check out the performance to see if they're the same, and I don't have any complaints for the Retaliator. The only thing is that the priming is at the top right here, but that's also the same for the Recon, so I can't really count that as a con. But the main one thing I don't like about this recon is that, as you can see up here, the tactical rail protrudes a little bit up, which is better, but when I prime and prime back, it can hurt and can it kind of get your arms sore a little bit. And also with that, the gun jams actually a lot for me. I don't know about your guys' recons, but mine's jams a lot. Like, if... It's not like huge jams. Like you're priming back. I don't, I don't. I won't even call it a jam. You prime it back, and then it just gets stuck in like the middle, right before you prime it. So you can't completely prime it, and it gets really annoying because to, to, it's not really jam. Like the dart isn't crummy or anything, but you have to push really hard, and that can like, you know, take away time in a Nerf war that you really just don't have. So now let's get to the firing test to see which one has a hey better guys, fire. Hey guys, we're back, and let's get on to the firing test. So first, I'm gonna go to Taliator which I left right here. And so pretty much what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fire the amount of bullets it comes with. I'm not gonna give the recon an extra six bullets because I'm just gonna do what it comes with. So first we're just gonna fire and I'm gonna be aiming right down that hallway. You might not be able to see, but I'm gonna shoot it. And the elite bullets are blue and the modest ones are white. So then we'll compare the distances. So let's get on with the firing test. I'm gonna move over here so I can get a better angle. Let's go. That's it for the 12 round stick mag of the Retaliator. Now let's get all the recon and hit it. And we got zero jams, which is always nice. So let's go. And that's it for the recon. And now we're gonna go take a look at the range and distance. 
and now we're going to go with our final verdict. Hey guys, so we're back. So let's take a look at where the shots landed. So first we have one modulus dart and one elite dart. And you can, if you can see that, those both deflected off the wall right here. So I won't be counting those shots. So let's just keep going. That's one shot for each, so it doesn't really matter. So here we have two modulus darts, which land here fair and square, which is pretty pathetic as I shot from there. That's like a good like 20, 30 feet. Like that's not bad, but it's not great either. Then we have the other two modulus starts right here, which got decent ranges of about 25 to 30 feet. And here we got most of the elite starts, and they got way farther ranges. So here we have the low shooting elite starts, which shot a good 30, 35 feet. And then up here we have elite starts that shot looks like 40 feet. Here we have some in the middle, which looks like just about like 37 feet. And yeah, that's about it for how what, what the shots were. So now I'm going to go back to my table, and then we're going to look hey guys, at the final verdict. So, quick channel here, and yeah, I'm back. So, so let's go with the final verdict of the Retaliator and the Recon comparison. As for the Recon, this is not a long-range shooting blaster. I mean, it's a nice, like, gimmick for, like, short shooting. It's decent, but it jams a lot, so I don't really know a place for this blaster. As it jams a lot, which you don't want if you're if you're if you're in the midst of a nerf battle. If you're a sniper, that's I guess it's okay because you got time to change to change mags and stuff and to and, and to check for jams. But while you're in battle, you really can't you really can't afford a jam. So I don't I, I really don't know a place for the recon. Like it just absolutely does not work with crummy darts. Like they have to be like mint condition darts to even get close. Those darts I used, you may have saw these shot like, okay, but those are like brand new darts. As for the Tally Eater, those are like pretty much the same, but you saw they had way better ranges. So although this is $8, $7 less, I prefer the Retali Eater, but if you're on a lower budget, if you're, if you're only like $20 or less, then the Recon is definitely a good blaster. Because $20 or less, there's not much other blasters. So, honestly, I picked the Retaliate over the Recon, but, like I said, this is a little, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit more expensive, so you can kind of see why. But this isn't a bad blaster, I'm not saying it's bad, it just jams for me, and that'd be only mine, but I don't know, I personally just not a huge fan of this Recon MK2, but the Retaliate I really do like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you guys next time.